Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Oracle that is how to create the command separated values that is CSV file. Okay, we can later on open that C CSV format file in an Excel sheet. Okay, for that uh, we are going to write one script and uh, by using the SQL itself we cannot do that. We need to write one script uh, using that script only we can get the desired result. How we are going to do that? We will see one example. Okay. Here already I have uh, here already I have written that uh, script, uh, and I will show that query first. What is the query we are going to use? this is a simple query we are going to use see while generating the reports uh, normally uh, you know about the that uh, column names what we store in the tables the column name in the column name we won't use the full form that means product description means we will give only product desk okay then first name means f name like that uh, in order to avoid uh, in order to save the space not avoid in order to save the space we will be using the short forms product description in product desk and uh, salary means sal like that we will give but column headings while generating the reports the column headings it should be in full format full form it should not be either employee name means uh, e name salary means sal like that it should not be so in order to generate the column headings we are going to select it from the dual table this is nothing but we are uh, using the column headings like employee ID, last name, first name, salary like that. But here um, we are going to have E name, employee, job and sal because uh, in our table we are not going to have this last name and first name and uh, that uh, what what they call it as that other other column names are not available. So we are changing this column headings name. And I am going to change into E name. And this is job. So designation will be added along with the name. Employee name Clark means his uh, designation will be manager like that. Okay. First we will see. see how it is getting executed. See that employee ID e name job salary the employee id will come then employee name then designation then salary this thing we need in a separate file we are going to store in a file and we are going to open it in excel how we are going to do that we will see now for that the script will be used and we need to do some work we need to use the set echo of for uh, surplusing the sql output okay and uh, we need to eliminate the row count at the end by using the feedback of and these are all the things you already know and, and, and it is self explanatory already have given the explanation at the top of it and you should know one thing for storing it in the file we need spool the spool and file name is important we are i am going to give the file name as emp underscore job dot csp in this file the result will be stored and at the end we need to use the spool off that means we are just closing it okay starting of the file and we are just ending the uh, file that means the result will be returned to the file and it will uh, store it in the some directory okay we need to use the spool and spool off we will see how it is getting executed Okay, it's generated the uh, CSV file and we will see where it is getting stored. Here there is one directory called ITSQL, uses IT. Within that directory it is got created and let we will open this. But what happened here is it uh, stored the query and the result. But our uh, that uh, expectation is we need only the results in the proper format but here it is not like that so we, we cannot execute the script like that i will show how to execute the script if 
we need to go to the command prompt okay in the command prompt we are going to log into the sql plus and then we are going to execute the script by just typing everything in a single line how we are going to do it i, I will show you now sql plus and we need to know that uh, script name I already know the script name and the where it is stored within the directory only we can execute it okay if, if you have not stored the script in this directory then we cannot execute it then sql plus demo slash demo that the username and password then i am going to execute the script that we will see how it is getting executed here it says unable to open that emp.sql I think we need to put this directory. Sorry. Okay. Here that script available. Now I am going to execute it. Okay. Now it has got executed. This is the way you should execute the script by typing it in the single line. I think the script has got completed. Now let we will see and open that file emp underscore job. It has got generated now. Let it refresh it. See here now that the uh, format is right. Here we have got the uh, heading in proper format. Employee ID, then the employee name, then salary like that but we need to change the that uh, script column headings that's it okay because it has got executed uh, the already saved script okay anyway it's uh, work uh, work to find actually uh, we have opened that csv file in the excel format okay this is the way you should use that uh, script uh, if you run the script uh, externally that means uh, by using the command prompt then you will get this desired result if you execute within the SQL developer, then uh, everything will come inside the CSV file. This is the way you should uh, create the CSV file. Thanks, bye.